Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I wanted to recommend you guys some books that you can read during quarantine and social distancing. So I only have five books here to talk about today, but I thought I would give you kind of a wide range just of some fun books, some insightful ones, and then some that will just get you super absorbed in a story and kind of forget about all the stuff going on. First up here I have The Godfather by Mario Puzo. I haven't talked about this book in so long. But I have an old review on it if you're interested in that, but I just really enjoy this book. It's a crime novel. It's a classic. Uh, I hope you guys at least recognize it in some way, if that's by the movie or just the title. This book is about a mafia and about an Italian family, Sicilian family to be specific. Just such a great book and I would highly just recommend picking it up and I think it's a really good read right now if you're looking for more of kind of a thriller crime novel at the moment. I think this one is very enthralling and interesting. I would recommend you read this just anytime because I think this is just a really solid book and just right now I think it'd be really good to read if you're just looking for something more crime related. I do have a few contemporaries. So first up I have With the Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedo. I talk about this book so much so I'm going to kind of quickly talk about it and then that's it just because I feel like you guys have heard me talk about it a lot. But this book is about a girl named Imani who is a teen mother and she also just has a huge passion for the culinary arts so we follow her and what it's like to be a teen mom and what just we just get to hear about her passions and family dynamics and I just really really loved this book and I just think if you contemporaries are really easy for a lot of people to dive into just because you don't have to learn a whole new world but I just think this is a great book and I think it could lift a lot of people's spirits as well because it's just Imani is such a fantastic character and I think a lot of people will be able to relate to her in all sorts of ways so definitely if you are bored <laughs> and you own this book or you can get it online from a library or anything like that then definitely check with the fire and high out this book i was battling putting on this list or not just because i'm gonna reread it probably during this time but i don't know if everybody else would want to or like if it's i don't know but basically it's under rose tainted skies by louise gornell so this book is about a girl with agoraphobia and there's a romance that kind of happens after but it's basically about agoraphobia and what that's like. I also have an old review on this book so I'll link that as well but this was one of my favorite books from a few years ago. It's phenomenal. I loved it and I'm hoping to reread it again and see if I love it just as much and then it also just because she's struggling with staying inside I feel like we could also kind of well now even more we can relate to and I know it's different because agoraphobia is obviously different than this situation but I feel like because she's stuck inside and trying to find things to do I feel like that's something that readers now could read about and kind of relate to and I think we can also empathize with people who have agoraphobia because so many of us are sad or freaking out some people are fine but some of us are just really mm, not doing great at the moment and I feel like we could just really empathize with people who have agoraphobia and who always have the fear or have this fear con like consistently that they don't want to leave a certain building or that they don't want to be in open spaces or in crowds and that's totally understandable so I feel like this could offer a really interesting insight so that's why I have it on this list but yeah I'm probably going to definitely reread this because I just think it's a good time to reread it. I have a little short book that I want to talk about that's more of a thriller as well but this is The Grown Out by Gillian Flynn. Please read this if you're doing any readathon because there's so many happening right now if you're doing any pick this up. It's super short and it's a ghost story. That's all you should know. It's a short story. It's just, you like ghost stories? This is just a phenomenal book. Just pick it up. It's a great short story, super gripping, and I just think it's a super quick read. And if you're looking for something kind of scary and you haven't read this, definitely check this out. My last one is kind of a paranormal romance recommendation, just because, again, fun reads. Gotta have those too. So this is White Hot Kiss by Jennifer L. Armentrout. This I read so long ago, but basically this book these books are about gargoyles. It's a trilogy. We follow this girl who's half demon, half gargoyle, and she's also kind of in a love triangle, and there's a lot of romances going on, and a lot of fighting, and it's just, it's a fun book. I definitely would recommend at least checking out the first one. I just think it's a, it's a quick read. It's exciting. I mean, you could read the whole trilogy if you feel like it. I personally, the first book I believe was my favorite. I have old reviews of this book too. Like, if you're interested, definitely pick this up. I still remember Roth from these books. I still remember, and and he was like the really hot tattooed demon guy who's a part of this love triangle and yeah so if you if you want to read about something fun and some romance 
definitely check this one out. So there you guys have it. Those are the five books that I am recommending today for you guys to read during, during quarantine and social distancing. Let me know how you're doing in the comments down below and what's new? What's new? What? What's new? Talk to me in the comments down below. I just feel like talking to people right now and I think that's a good idea is for everyone just to try their best to communicate with others and not remain totally isolated in terms of you know actually speaking to people and trying to remain like keep those connections that you have with people going especially at this time when we're really not allowed to go anywhere depending on where you are in the world but yeah thank you guys so so much for watching if you enjoyed this video give it a like i'd really really appreciate it and subscribe down below if you're new here i also have all my social medias linked down below including my instagram goodreads etsy shop all of that sort of stuff so if you're interested in that check it out in the description box down below and yeah thank you guys again so so much for watching and i will see you all super soon bye